Hello everyone, my name is Jasmine McCoy and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thank you for clicking in and stopping by. I know that some of the new people here are probably from the Cotillion, but if you are a returner, it's very nice to have you back. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the 2021 Jack and Jill Cotillion Tea that I attended where I gave the keynote speaking address. So to start off, some of you may, may not know a couple of things. You might not know that I was a part of Jack and Jill of America Incorporated. I know that usually I am here talking about Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, typically wearing pink and green, but today I am wearing pink and blue. And yes, these diamonds are supposed to be a pale pink, but the lighting is doing weird things. And that is the colors of Jack and Jill, pink and blue. So a little bit of a color change, a little bit of a topic change, but it is another thing that is very important to my life. Every single time my family has moved, and we've moved five separate times, my family would always be a part of Jack and Jill of America Incorporated. So it's not something that I typically talk about, but my very first big leadership role was in Jack and Jill. And it was serving as the regional team vice president of the mighty Midwestern region. And just to go in a little bit more about how this was a whole family affair, um, my sister also served as the regional team treasurer for the mighty Midwestern region. My mom served as the, uh, she served as the chapter president from 2017 to 2019. And then my dad was also awarded father of the year in 2019. So the love for Jack and Jill runs very deep. And another thing you all might not know, what is a cotillion? A cotillion is basically a coming of age ceremony that is very popular within the black community. And it's not just a one day of events. It's typically one to two months, I would say, is how long that it would take. You're taking etiquette classes, dance lessons, and all of that is leading up to the big ball that happens at the end. And the ball, it's not, it's not just something for girls turning into women. It's also for boys turning into men. So it celebrates the coming into adulthood of both genders. And one of the really beautiful things at the end is that there's a, uh, a father-daughter dance, and then there's also a mother-son dance. So I got to dance with my dad. We had a great time. Um, he started tearing up, I started tearing up, but it was okay. We held it together and we, we killed it out on the dance floor. And it's just a very beautiful time full of very tender memories because you gain a much deeper connection with both your mom and your dad as you are going through this process. So that for me was five years ago. And I did my cotillion through the Cleveland chapter of Jack and Jill of America Incorporated. Other times people might do it underneath um, a sorority that is hosting it. But for me, it was done during uh, under Jack and Jill of America Incorporated, the Cleveland chapter. And now five years later, I was invited to speak at the mother daughter tea, which is one of the uh, one of the special events that happens just for mothers and their daughters in order to build a little bit more of that relationship and connection between the two of them. And I said, of course, yes, I'd love to speak about it. And they wanted me to come in to speak on the life lessons that I have learned after graduating out of Jack and Jill of America Incorporated, as well as what I've learned in college and now being um, a graduate. So I said, of course, I can come in and speak. And I'm going to bring my mom. And they said, yes, please bring your mom. So we had a great day today. And we get there. It's at the Ritz-Carlton. So everything is decorated to the T with like sparkles, lights, all those, that kind of stuff. And we get in and I just started having all of these memories flooding back. I'm also seeing the faces of people who... The last time I saw them, they were in middle school and now they're all grown up. Now they are in the place that I was being the debutantes of the cotillion. Also, 
uh, the girls in Cantillion are called debutantes, the boys in Cantillion are called beaux. So this was for the debutantes. And I've seen them, it's like, oh, you're all grown up. And then they're also saying, I'm all grown up. And the moms also are saying, I'm grown up. So everyone is just grown up and it is a wild time being able to see how everyone has changed, what accomplishments people have been able to make. So just a teeny tiny little thing about what it is that I was talking about in my speech. I was able to talk about getting accepted into Harvard, the experience that I had there, the experiences that you don't just learn in the classroom because college is more than just what you learn on paper. It is a truly life-changing four-year experience. It's transformative. And also just talking about what it has meant to grow up into my own and be a leader. So those are some of the things I talked about. And my mom was fantastic enough to take some video. Also, my mom was fantastic enough to take some video. So here is a little bit of my speech now. To the mothers and daughters of the 2021 Jack and Jill Cotillion, greetings. I am Jasmine E. McCoy, a proud alumna of the Cleveland chapter and former regional team vice president of the mighty Midwestern region. Jack and Jill holds a very big place in my heart and in my family. It truly is a family affair. My mom was president of the Cleveland chapter from 2017 to 2019. My sister served as the regional team treasurer for the mighty Midwestern region. And my dad was 2019 father of the year. As you can see, the love runs deep. I am a graduate of Harvard University, where I received my degree on the pre-med track with a major in molecular and cellular biology a secondary in African-American studies, and a citation in Spanish. Welcome to your cotillion tea. Or were you? If only he had read my college essay, he would have known that I was ready for this and that I earned this, just like you did. The most important part of your application was the college essay. It needs to show who you are set you apart from the other thousand students applying to the same school and make an argument for what special thing you can bring to the campus. I am going to be a political commentator. I am going to be a physical therapist. I am going to be a biomedical engineer. Very good. So there I am at the end. I've shared all of my contact information with the debutantes. Also, hello to the debutantes because I know some of you followed and subscribed. So very happy to have you especially here since i'm talking about you all and i have finished out and i'm thinking fantastic job this was a great presentation a great speech i had them laughing i was engaging the debutantes asking them some questions getting them to talk about themselves and their futures and i also had all the moms out there making those mm, mm, yes those good reaction noises so i was feeling great and then the photographer of the event, he, he goes to all of the Jack and Jill of America Incorporated Cleveland chapter events. He goes, uh, also, his name is Louis B.J. Barrel III. So he goes, are you going to have a Q&A? And I am never one to turn down any Q&A. So I say, yes, of course, I'm perfectly fine with a Q&A. And everyone just lights up and the debutantes start asking me some questions and they were good questions they would make good interviewers and it was a very candid talk i did not give them any kind of manicured um sugar-coated rosy tinted answers about college and and also that's something i never do in any of my q a's i always give the real deal what my experience is but even then I had them laughing, I was real with them. And I put, I put my experience out there for them. They were asking me questions about what it was like going to a PWI, what it was like going to Harvard, what it was like finding myself there, what it's like being pre-med, what it was like being a cheerleader. So 
it was it was good it was great and here is a little clip of some of those questions now my mom told me that she got some video of that and that happened in front of the entire 2,000 people that were sitting there I started getting hot I was freaking out in my mind but in that moment being able to stand up and say what it is that I know I deserve that I had those two minutes it helped me feel like I deserve this I'm ready for this I can assert myself and stand my ground and do it with dignity and grace so that was my favorite moment and then also when that was really good. <laughs> And then after that, it was time to go and take some photos. So we went, took some photos. I got some more questions from debutantes that were extremely interested in my life and my experience. And I also had a lot of the moms coming up and telling me how great of a speaker I am. And many of these moms, they're people that I've known for forever. Uh, so having them come up to me and talk to me about how much of a joy a pleasure and an honor it is for them to see me grow up and that I've done it authentically and always remain my true self. That's something that made me feel like I'm on the right track. I am on the right track because I'm staying true to myself and me being true to myself is kind. Me being true to myself is passionate. Me being true to myself is real. And that is all I have to say. I had a great time. And any kinds of these experiences where I get to talk to young people about their future and about um, just making the life for themselves that they want is something that I will always say yes to. So that is all I have to say. Thank you very much for watching. To those debutantes, I am wishing you the best in the rest of your cotillion experience. And I will see all of you watchers in the next video. Bye. Yeah.